Good morning, my friends. Today is Wednesday, July 24th. It's Wednesday of the 16th week in Ordinary Time. It's also the optional memorial of St. Charbel Makluf. Um, we have our Catholic baseball and softball camp Monday and Tuesday, July 29th and 30th at Montini Catholic High School. Uh, you can get more information or, and to register at catholicsportscamps.org. Uh, we're excited to have Mike Sweeney uh, here on Monday and then possibly some other uh, guests on, on Tuesday. It's going to be a couple of great days. So who was Saint Charbel Makluf? So he was born in Lebanon, uh, given the name Joseph, entered the monastery and uh, took the name Charbel and uh, he was named after a second century martyr. He spent 23 years uh, in pretty much in a, living in a hermitage. His desire, the desire of his heart was to live this life of, of solitude, prayer, celebrating mass. People would go to him uh, because of his holiness and, uh, and get uh, uh, spiritual counsel. In 1898, uh, he suffered a, a stroke while saying mass and died eight days later um, and so he had the reputation for holiness and uh, continues to draw thousands of pilgrimages to his shrine his body was found to be incorrupt meaning it wasn't uh, decaying so we pray for his intercession and I may have spoken about people coming to him he, I think he lived this life of, of solitude it's the people that were coming to him uh, and venerating his you know, burial site uh, after his death. So we look at the readings today. First readings from the prophet Jeremiah. Uh, this is often read at ordinations where, you know, God is speaking to Jeremiah. He says, before I formed you in, in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I dedicated you a prophet to the nations I appointed you. So God is saying to Jeremiah and he's saying to all of us that he formed us in our mother's womb. He knew us and he had a, a plan, uh, a mission for our life. And Jeremiah says, you know, I know not how to speak. I'm too young. Who, who am I? We believe that Jeremiah was probably a young teenager when God called him to be a prophet. And we often feel like I'm unequipped. I'm too young. I'm, I'm too whatever. And God says, I'll give you the words to speak. And so may Jeremiah be an example for all of us to say, no matter where we are in life, what state God formed you in your mother's womb. He loves you. He knows you. He has a mission for your life. He's given you special gifts and charisms to carry out the mission that he has planned for you. Don't say I'm too young. Don't say I can't do that. God will give you the gifts that you need. And then in the gospel of Matthew uh, chapter 13, one to nine, uh, Jesus sat down by the sea. Large crowds were gathered, as always. They wanted to hear the teachings, see miracles. And he started teaching them about the sower and the seed. But first, it struck me, all of these crowds, people are happy to be with them, with him when everything's going well. But it's a contrast to when he goes to the cross, they're gone, right? So it's easy for us to say, yes, I'm a follower of Jesus as long as everything's going well. But when our cross comes, do we still praise God? Do we thank God? Do we know that God is with us? Something good to ponder. Then he talks about the, the parable of the sower, who sows seed generously on a path, on rocky ground, on thorns. All three of those uh, do not produce fruit. The only seed that produces fruit falls on rich soil, produces 160 and 30 fold. Planes going, it's raining uh, here Tuesday night. So, something to ponder is how generous the sower is to the seed. Every seed has the gift of life. And God is very generous with his seeds. God is generous with life. God is generous with grace. And uh, he's praying that our our hearts and souls are our fertile soil for his you know, the seed of his grace to take root and then to, to bear fruit. And so think about what kind of fruit is my life bearing? Um, is it 
selfish fruit or am I bearing fruit for the kingdom of God? Let's pray about those things today as we reflect on God having a plan for our lives, God giving us great gifts, and then how am I using these gifts for my mission? So Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for your son Jesus. We thank you for Saint Charbel and the great saints who are examples for us and intercede and pray for us. Help us to carry out the mission that you have for us. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please continue to like, subscribe, and share these videos with at least one person today. Tune to your families. Buen Camino, and God bless you.